Live from the WGN studios, this is the WGN 40 News at 9. Ooh, what's this music? I don't know, but it's Very just, boy, what a transition just from <laughs> your energetic green yeah. to my yeah. this. Actually, that's appropriate. Today is National Prom Day, ah. and the kids, kids didn't get to celebrate that yeah. last year. Hopefully this year things will be a little bit different, but as we think about that, let's uh, look at some prom pictures from the past uh, from uh, our friends at Awkward Family uh, Photos. Take a look. Always uh. and forever. <laughs> it's just like a dream to me <laughs> that somehow came true. Are you, Robin? Might have been. Wow. I had to take a closer look. Larry Zayn. Larry loved this. Wow. Oh. Save, save the best wow. for last. I love that yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. Huh. That guy had to change his identity because that picture's <laughs> still out on the internet. <laughs> it's a witness protection. Ooh. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. There are lots of crazy stories in the nine at nine. All right, starting All right. off, Lair. Yeah, the New York huh. Mets seem open to the idea of celebrating the embarrassment of giving out one of the most mocked sports contracts in history. In 2000, the Mets made a buyout agreement with Bobby Bonilla that pays him $1.9 million every July 1st until 2035. <laughs> Still amazing. New owner Steve Cohen took questions from fans this week, and one asked about holding an annual Bobby Bonilla Day at the ballpark to publicly hand over the spoon <laughs> check to Bonilla. And Cohen likes the idea. He says, let's not focus on the negatives, let's focus on the positives. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, it's because he's not the one that made that deal. <laughs> is it, what was the, is the fact that it was the it was length he, of the contract? I, what was it? I he don't. deferred, they, they, they owed him a buy, he was due money. Okay. And they deferred payments, and they, defer, and they deferred the payments because they, they had the money invested with the Madoffs, and they thought they were going to get a ton of dough. Oh. So they are going to all this money. Like, yeah, we'll just defer the payments. That's my vague, without yeah. all the details in front of you, that's what I remember. Yeah. Right, Mike? Yeah. Is that, yeah, that's exactly they right. had a bonus due to him, and they didn't want to pay it. And they said, well, we'll defer. We got this Madoff guy who's going to make us a fortune. <laughs> 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 that worked, yeah. Fascinating. Another loss for the Mets. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, how would you like your very own custom made ping pong door? A designer named Tobias Franzel will make one just for you. It's part of his high end that. luxury collection. You check out his website, fill out the form, and you could be having just as much fun as these people. And who doesn't want that? Except the table will cost you, wait for it. $14,000. Oh, oh, come on. $14,000. Hmm. Mm. How was it fun with the old ping pong table? Yeah, yeah. you get one of these for your dad. Father's Day's coming up. I know you yeah. said he's a. He's a, a he doesn't need to practice. Player. He's still whiz at that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how he. Anyway. Morgan, right, you're up. Number seven, guys. Here's a great strategy to make sure someone doesn't take the seat next to you. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Oh. <laughs> hey, you do. Wow, I've never thought of that. So it looks like he's inviting all of those people, or he's look. His eyes are somewhere else, like there's someone behind them that he's saving it for. Either way, it works, oh, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't think of that. Maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> I have to try that. All right, number six. Have you ever heard of the Gray Man? Probably not. He's part of an urban legend in South Carolina, but people who live there take him more seriously than you'd think. They claim the Gray Man appears in the small town of Pawleys Island just before a hurricane is about to hit. And if he appears, it's time to leave the island. People believe the gray man was a soldier in the Civil War who returned mm. home to Pauly's Island only to die before reaching his beloved, or his beloved, excuse yeah. me. Ain't that always We're not way. used to saying that. Yeah. According to the legend, he comes back before a severe hurricane to find her and keep her safe. Historians cannot say whether this man ever really existed, but next time there's a big hurricane, mm. check out Gray Man on Twitter. Yeah. Seems legitimate, right, Larry? Sure. Who needs meteorologists? <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> Morgan, we'll send you down there. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah. number yep. five. I'm down. Larry, you can come with. Oh, I'm at, oh, road trip. <laughs> uh, number five, we're halfway through the nine You're at nine. You're going to regret that, Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, to my, I get control of the radio. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's just enjoy this palate cleanser. Oh, 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 what are we doing? Oh, oh, oh boy. What? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, man. What is this? Oh, come on. Yeah. yeah. No. What? What is going on? Oh, right the acorns. Oh, oh, Lord. What is going on? When, when you sign up to work for Next Star, you gotta be, you got to train yourself <laughs> to be ready <laughs> for the massive amount of <laughs> crotch busting that's about to happen. And we've endured it pretty well here. I don't think you could say that. Crotch it's boxing. actually what we can say anymore. Yeah, that's fine. That was on the list of acceptable words. I looked over it. Okay. Uh, number four, every once in a while, we like to check out Christy Brinkley's Instagram page. Really? Uh, to make us feel even worse about ourselves. Hey, speak for yourselves. Here she is at age 65. Brinkley says she doesn't believe in numbers. Yeah, right. She shares this advice. Once you pass 50, <laughs> every birthday is an opportunity to take stock and say, what else do I want to do? <laughs> and then go for it. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Robin, that's been your motto for a good like 25 yeah. years, it's, right? It does. It's like she's, it's like she's still, like she's reading my mind. Yeah. Really. <laughs> You're not in it for the Instagram glory. You're just out there yeah. to make a difference in people's lives. That's right. I don't have to brag about it. I am just living my best life every day. It's amazing how those gorgeous 65-year-olds were also gorgeous 30-year-olds at one time. Yeah. yeah. That works out And it's just way. a miracle how none of it happens without the help of any plastic surgery or anything right. some people are just naturally also helps when you don't have a real job oh she works hard you leave Christy no. Brinkley alone she's lovely and she's modeling and she's <laughs> doing wonderful things work, 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 work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right Morgan all right. <laughs> number three let's Able talk about now. burping cows it sounds funny, but it's not funny for farmers. Their methane-filled belches are the equivalent of 850 coal plants burning year-round. Wow, that's not good. Cow scientists tried peppermint cloves, lemongrass, and garlic, but nothing helped. Until now, it turns out the magic ingredient might be red seaweed. Cows who were fed red seaweed burped out 82% less methane. Now they're awaiting full approval from the FDA and helping more farmers have access to red seaweed. In the farm world, it's a game changer. Wow. Huh. All right, number two. One of the great innovations in bathroom cleanliness began at the Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam in the 1990s. The cleaning manager was sick of all the spillage around the men's urinals, so he etched a very realistic looking image of a fly in the urinals right near the drain. The idea was to give men something to aim at. Oh, we're so simple. <laughs> and it worked. They were able to save about 10% uh, in cleaning costs. That doesn't seem like a big saving. No, it really doesn't. No, I think it's just yes, this I would have story. been among that 10%, though. I can guarantee you that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this and was if you were the one cleaning it, you'd be thankful. Yeah. The model, uh, they did this at urinals across the world. Yeah. The idea was so good, a Nobel Prize winning economist <laughs> from the University of Chicago cited it as a great example of his principle called a nudge. It alters people's behavior in a desired way without taking something away or costing them anything. Hmm. Huh. All right, number one, this is a cool video from a few years back that's worth seeing. Eight performers from the international sensation Stomp teamed up with four Harlem Globetrotters, and the choreography is amazing. Huh. This is one continuous shot, even though we put a dissolve in here uh, to tighten it up a bit. But one, it was one continuous shot, no audio adjustments. 
It's all real time. Wow. That's great stuff. That took a lot of work. Wow. Look at that. Well, this would be a good morning show for them all. Yeah, look at look at all the hoopsters we have yeah. on the staff, Larry. <laughs> Morgan, you, right. Lauren well, Jiggett, me, right here. come on. We've got dancers like Paul Conrad. Right. Oh, yeah. And you're a good clapper, Pat. Yeah, that's you about all I've been doing. Do you, do <laughs> yeah. you still have the clap? <laughs> no, not for years now. No, I mean, if I get really excited. Yeah. That's time to cue up that song that we like so yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for us. God, I just 